EU finance ministers are to meet on Tuesday. They will discuss what's likely to become a second bailout. It's a nasty scenario into which I sat down with the president of the European Central Bank, Jean-Claude Trichet. I asked him at what point the Troika, that's the ECB, the IMF and the Eurozone, the three organisations that have bailed out Greece, at what point should they begin to look beyond the bailout and consider Plan B? Our position as far as the governing council of the ECB is well known. I sum it up. We uh, recommend, because we are not taking the decision ourselves, these are decisions that are taken by executive branches. And we are uh, telling them, don't embark into schemes that would be compulsory. We are advising them to have voluntary scheme and to avoid schemes that would trigger credit event or selective default or default. That is very clearly our message for governments. But it is their responsibility. But a voluntary scheme, and we don't want to get into the mechanisms of what it might be because there are so many variations, but most people seem to accept voluntary is in, is in some part inevitably going to be compulsory. There's no such thing as a true again, voluntary scheme. Again, I have said very clearly what is the position of the governing council of the ECB. So you're not then implacably opposed to a rescheduling of Greek debt under voluntary terms. Again, nothing that would be compulsory, nothing that would trigger a credit event, nothing that would trigger a selective default or a default. As I, I said that very, very clearly. But it is not our responsibility, it is their responsibility. If uh, we will see what they decide and we will take our own uh, decision taking into account what they would have decided. But our message is, as I said a moment ago, crystal clear. Can I just quote from you The Economist this week? Um, because whether it's voluntary or involuntary, whatever the circumstances are, if I can just, I just want to, I want to get the actual quote correct, uh, if I may. It would be far better to recognise reality and start an orderly restructuring of Greek debt now. That remains the only solution. Now, The Economist says that, the FT says that, many people in the market say that. So isn't it time for the countries involved to start to look at the real possibilities of that? Richard, the things are, in our opinion, clear. I said what is the position of the governing council. It's not an individual position, it's the position of the governing council. Now, you have to put all what we are discussing in the big picture. What we have at the present moment is that sovereign signatures in the advanced economy are under tensions. Sovereign signature in the advanced economy. What we are looking at is the epicenter, if I may, of a series of tensions that are European, that are in the Euro area, that are in Europe as a whole, the 27, and that are at the global level. And we ask all those who have a say in this handling of the situation to understand also the big picture. Many viewers want to know what is so dreadful about the possibility of Greek default. Why do you believe it is such an extreme mistake, to use your, phrase, your words? Again, uh, we are crystal clear in our message. We have to replace Greece in a broader context. And in that broader context, we trust that it would be extremely bad to create a default in the advanced economy constituency. Again, what we have to cope with is something which is bigger, much bigger than Greece, much bigger than what we are observing in the euro area, which is something which deals with the advanced economy as a whole.